I would say in the era of COVID, uh, uh, people are talking about COVID and about vaccines. I like to call, uh, we are, uh, I like to call ourselves, we are the vaccine suppliers. We give the customer the antibody to, uh, to avoid the troubles in the market. Being part of the Oasis investment, we are uh, embarking into a new era, into an era that we have to uh, go into the, what we call a, 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 the disruption, where we have to disrupt the market and start new trends. With that, I wanted to give a new push internally. And uh, we came, uh, after uh, a lot of brainstorming, we came with the O strategy. The O strategy, of course, O from Oasis, we are transforming all of the companies into O dot something. So O rentals, O reefers, O industries, uh, O machinery, we are turning everything into O in order to, this is not only for the market, but this is also for us, that we feel we are in a new company with a new strategy. So here, for the rental company, since we are also global and we want to spread the O, the, the o strategy and the Oasis investment, hence, we changed from DNH to O rentals. Uh, we started with uh, niche rentals. We studied the market and we looked for gaps. We looked for v uh, uh, niches where the market did, uh, uh, didn't have. Hence, we were the first company that started electric forklift rental. And that gives us the advantage of first to market and gives us the advantage today. I am, or O Rentals, is the biggest uh, company uh, in terms of volume and revenue when it comes to uh, the electric forklift the rental. The amount of data that we have goes back to 2004. We know every unit, how it performs, at what age. That advantage nobody has. Also, we are into, uh, into, the, uh, into the ground improvement crane rentals. Again, that was a gap that from Singapore to Europe, nobody did that. We were the first company that did that. that, did that. Of course, now we have competitors. They will have many copycats. Again, the advantage that we have, we have experience from 2006. Nobody has that experience. We know how the crane performs, at what tonnage, at what type of, uh, on what type of ground. We've been in Kuwait, we've been in Qatar, we've been in Singapore, we've been in Mexico. Okay, as we are speaking, we are in Zimbabwe. This gives us an experience and we are global. We have tied up with all of the companies that are so happy, so happy with our service. They said, please, if we go to the moon, come with us. Or nowadays, Mars. We have developed an in-house solution, which we call the RMS, that at any point of time, on your phone, you can know the temperature of the oil, you can know the temperature of the uh, of, of the fuel. You can know the uh, the RPM on the unit. You can know, of course, which is easy, the location. 
we can put a geofencing so uh, God forbid if it's stolen it, the, the machine or the unit will not work we can know how clean is uh, sorry are your filters and we can give the visibility to the client in his phone now the trend is that the uh, customers are uh, I would say thinking twice before they uh, purchase uh, new equipment or uh, or even the trucks. The tendency is going to, I would say, uh, long-term payments with uh, buybacks, uh, lease to own, or turning capex into opex, and that is just. Uh, uh, leasing, complete lease, so the customers uh, pay a fixed installment and the truck manufacturer or the equipment manufacturer takes care of the uh, capital, the service and all, the, and all of the breakdowns, which uh, helps the customer to focus on their core uh, which servicing a, tr a truck or a, or a equipment is not their core, but service, but to uh, construct or to transport, that is their core. So they can concentrate and also due to the market situation and the margins being tight, they can uh, become lean and employ less people since they don't need a workshop and I can take care, not only me, I mean the, uh, the whole, uh, the whole uh, market when it comes to dealers. This is our speciality. Our core product that we sell is not only the capital, but it's the after sales service uh, of, the, uh, of the capital. We sell the truck once, but then we live with the truck for the rest of its life or for the rest of its economical life. And we, incre we maintain uh, an, uh, an uptime for the, for the customer. Our customers buy the units from us for one of two reasons, either to uh, earn revenue or to uh, take control and manage expenses. So I would say our, we, uh, what I'm, the message I give to my sales force, we are selling an investment. The customer is supposed to get the maximum return on his investment. So uh, if he is a rental company or a transport company, as long as the, the truck or the equipment uh, is working, he can rent it in the market and earn revenue or if he's a construction company or a transport company that is transporting for itself or trying to maintain the uptime by themselves, since this is my core product, I can maintain better than he can. The reason is my accessibility to spare parts, my training when it comes to diagnosis, my speed when it comes to service, that the customer cannot beat, but we can. So the market trend is to rely more on the dealers than on themselves. This gives a big advantage to, uh, first of all, to uh, us. Because uh, when I go to the customer, I can gauge, do they, I mean, what do they do with the unit? So I can actually design uh, 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 a solution that can cater his needs. I'll give you an example. Let's say a customer has a two-year project and the customer does not know or is skeptical about the situation after two years. So I can give him a purchase with a buyback. I can give him lease to own least to own giving him the option in case the market is better and after that period I can give him another lease to own uh, uh, so what we call in uh, in our jargon the second life when it comes to lease to own or just a lease and the advantage that gives the big advantage that I have again accessible to spare parts uh, accessible to uh, mid-term solution in order for the truck to or the unit to be back in the uh, in the uh, or on the field as fast as possible and the training we are blessed of having manufacturers that concentrate on training 
And what we have done in our organization, we have started something that we uh, that is called the Enterprise Academy, that we uh, we get the trainers from the suppliers and we train people. We have full time trainers that get trained from the suppliers. Then we have in a matrix the knowledge level and the technical knowledge for everybody, white collar or, uh, or uh, blue collar. And on continuous basis, we train everybody, including myself. So the average knowledge in the, in the company grows, uh, grows up. That gives me the advantage I can fix a truck or I can overhaul an engine. I can do all types of wear and, uh, tear, uh, wear and, tear, uh, wear and tear, uh, uh, repairs or service faster than anyone possible. I can make the parts ready before the unit comes because I know what's wrong with it. So I don't waste time. Again, the up customer wants uptime. The customer wants a healthy unit uh, that he can use on the site whenever he wants. If a unit breaks down on the field, in the field that is cat a catastrophe for him because his whole site gets paralyzed. So it is our job not to, uh, not, I mean for that, not to, uh, not to happen.